Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Stallings, you know me here on YouTube as Marauder EX, and as always I'm your host for Operation Recap, where I take some of the stories from Opera Fall and I show them off here on YouTube. I don't know why I continue to do this. You know why I do this, you know. Stop asking me questions. I don't have the answers anymore. Alright, so this week, uh, again, kind of a light news week. I kind of like light news weeks. They, they let me focus on other things, like we've been doing, uh, we have our first official uh, Opera Fall Let's Play of Tales of Zillia 2, go check that out. And uh, we're working on some new stuff, so you know it's fun. I get to get to do that instead of, you know, news, which is news. I like the news. Don't get me wrong. So the three stories that I've got this week, all news, all news. The first one, Fire Emblem is finally coming to Europe. Now that statement sounds a little weird, but uh, what Nintendo is doing, they are having a giant eShop sale on titles related to the Smash Brothers franchise. So anyone who shows up in Smash Brothers that they've got a game for, they're putting on sale. So you've got some Pokemon games, uh, like Pokemon Rumble, that are going to be discounted. You've got the Fire Emblem titles, which are also going to be discounted. Mario, Sonic, Kirby, Donkey Kong, there's a whole list of these things. But the Fire Emblem games that are coming over, you've got Fire Emblem Awakening on the, uh, the DS, and then the original Fire Emblem, well, not really the original, but the first Fire Emblem game released outside of Japan on the Game Boy Advance that is making its way to Europe finally. It was, it's never been released there before, and it's going to be on the Wii U eShop. So go check that out if you have not played that game. It really is fantastic. I remember buying it and spending a ton of hours on that game. It was phenomenal. One of, the, one of my favorite Fire Emblem games, just hands down. So... Go check that out. The The full sale includes a ton of games, so go check them out. All of them are going to be priced just a little, little differently, so it's going to be a little odd. The second story, also f following a kind of, uh, I guess, fantasy theme, Square Enix has Final Fantasy Explorers, which we got a release date for, which we, we talked about earlier this week, which is going to be December 18th in Japan. No release, or no talk of a release outside of Japan just yet, but they've also gone and shown three trailers for three of the various classes. You have Knight, Monk, and Black Mage, showing off how these three different classes kind of play, and giving you a little bit of an insight onto how the game works, and why, G giving a little bit of flavor to different classes, making it, you know, a unique experience, rather than just one has magic, one doesn't, that sort of deal. Go check those trailers out. It looks interesting. I am really hoping for a U.S. release on this. So let's uh, let's keep our fingers crossed on that one and just kind of just go with it. And the last story for the week, also being a fairly fantasy-themed thing, we've got Ragnarok Odyssey Ace is going to be getting DLC expansion. So... I haven't played Ace. I've played a little bit of, you know, a lot of the older Ragnarok Odyssey stuff, but I haven't played Ace. It, it's on my list of things that I really want to buy, and there's adding more stuff to it. Uh, new skills, daily quests, daily login bonuses, uh, outfit sets, and a boss rush mode, just to name a few of the things that are on there. Uh, the expansion will be Tuesday, August 26th, so if you have that on PSN, go check that out. Uh, if not, if you were waiting for something, it's like, maybe the game's not quite my cup of tea, not really my thing, but, yeah, there it is. So there's, you know, more stuff added to it. Maybe that'll tip your, tip, tip into your favor. Yeah, yeah. That's really it. I got, that's, I, this is really the fastest recap I've done in a long time. I kind of wanted to do a specific question. We've been, there's, there's, one of the new hires has a, a question uh, in our staff room, and it's been one of those things, like, I really want to answer this. I really want to ask this question amongst the viewers as well, but I don't want to spoil his article. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to think on the spot of a, a, another question that could be asked that I, I really just can't. I really can't. Uh, well, here, how about this one? What would be a game that was released in one particular region, that wasn't released in others, that you would like to see released in others, just to see how that game would fare with a different audience? What what game would it be? Like, obviously there's, you know, a couple of, you know, 
mother titles that weren't released outside of Japan. I mean, they were fan translated, so we already know the example of that one. But, you know, there's there's some games that are kind of Europe only, kind of America only, kind of Japan only. I'm kind of curious as to how they'd fare. Think about it. Just let me know. If there's a game that got released somewhere that you just sat there and drooled over and like, not in my hometown. So sad. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my weekend. I strongly suggest you guys do the same, and I will catch you next week.